painting for a living. That's what this Zambian artist knows best. But in hard economic times, it's not easy. People, they don't feel like spending a lot of money on a painting, especially when things are hard. If you, if you, if you mention your price, they will just think of how many bags of milli meals are there. Using art to make ends meet is also difficult, given that there are so few places in Zambia where the skill can be learned. But some are optimistic of better days ahead. We haven't yet gotten that sense that this is as much an industry as mining or agriculture or anything else that produces and contributes to the GDP. But I am hopeful because already the legislation for the creative industries is now in place. The quest for survival has made most artists look for full-time employment in order for them to earn a living. What does not help matters is that a public gallery like this one only sells one painting on average per month. And analysts agree that for the arts to thrive, both the government and the private sector must pull in the same direction. Well-organized uh, art setups would have support from public and private, which means we have the corporate guys pushing in money, you know, the banks, the insurance companies, you know, the, the, the communication companies. But you'll never hear of them sponsoring any shows here. Government has no set policy which is there to support the visual arts. At this private gallery in Lusaka, Caleb is currently holding an exhibition. He has sold three paintings so far, and luckily for him, Zambians have also been some of his clients. It is a trend he hopes can continue. Bit by bit, I think Zambians are now appreciating art because those days, way back, most of the people who used to buy art are like foreigners, like the European and the Western. But now, me, I've got uh, even fellow Zambians who are my clients who don't even complain about the prices, and I think that's good.